Before we start, I want to share something with you guys. As a content creator, I know that it takes a lot of time and effort to record and edit videos. But today, I want to introduce you to an amazing software that makes it simple and effortless. Demo Creator from Wondershare is a perfect software mainly for content creators. But really, it's for anyone planning to make creative demo videos. I'm gonna show you some of the cool features of Demo Creator starting with the recorder. You get two options to record with a face cam or just simply record the screen. And you can choose the ratio of the recorder, whether you want to record certain parts or the entire screen. And after you're done, instead of transferring the footage to another software, you can edit it within Demo Creator itself. It has all the tools you need, starting with the simple ones like cutting and trimming unwanted parts, speeding up or slowing down, and adding text to your project. And the best part about their text, it comes ready with cool and stylish animations that brings life to your video. Then you get all these amazing colorful transitions to switch between different scenes smoothly. Moving on to another feature I loved about Demo Creator is that they have their own store within the software itself. And it's filled with variety of incredible effects that are fully customizable. Like this gaming intro pack, where you can have your own unique intro for your channel. Another incredible feature is the captions option. Whether you want to add openers or lower thirds or final credits. And my personal favorite, subtitles, where it saves you a lot of time. Plus the fact that it also gives you the option to customize and animate your subtitles. There are many other features that you need to explore on your own like the stickers option for example where you can add animated stickers also the sound effects to make your video more interesting and a cursor customization option mainly for demonstration videos which helps in delivering your ideas to the viewer for everyone interested in demo creator i'll provide all the links in the description and right now they're having a 40 percent off christmas sale so grab it while you can Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video we have a new build that I wanted to share for a very long time which is the MSMC build you saw in the start. It's a hipfire build for close range within 20 meters and in this video we'll compare it to my Fennec build and we'll see if it can beat it or not. If you're here for the gameplay only then skip to the time shown on the screen. Let's get started. Let's start with the fire rate. As always, the Fennec wins with 1140 rounds per minute. As for the MSMC, it also has a pretty fast fire rate of 950 rounds per minute. Moving on to the damage at 10 meters range against an enemy with a maximum health of 300 HP. I'm just gonna show it to you right away without the boring maps. And this time, I'm gonna include all the body parts. You can notice that the Fennec has an overall better time to kill except for one part, which is the arms. The MSMC beats it by 148 milliseconds. It also beats it in the leg part but the difference is only 22 milliseconds which is nothing really and finally we have the hip fire comparison and if we put the crosshairs side to side you can see that the fennec has smaller crosshairs which means it has better hip fire accuracy so now we can answer the main question here which one is better and i can easily say that the fennec beats the msmc but to be fair the msmc remains a solid gun and you can use it against sweaty teams and win but the fennec has better overall killing time better hip fire accuracy and another reason that guarantees the fennec win over the msmc is the mag size because the fennec has higher mag size 
guys than the MSMC with or without the loadout builds. Also, another question that I got on Instagram is why did I choose no stock and why not flash guard? First of all, both attachments are good. I used no stock for the extra movement speed, which isn't really much, but it can be very useful against shotgun users as it allows you to stray faster, which increases your chances of dodging their bullets and minimizing the damage. The no stock attachments also compensates for the negative movement speed we got from using the mag B. And then we have the flash guard, which gives you a small increase in the hip fire accuracy. So really, it's up to you. I went for extra movement speed this time. The hip fire accuracy is enough for me, especially with a hip fire mod. And speaking of mods, we're using the usual: an extender mod followed by hip fire mod and a range mod. And now that we're done with the comparison, we'll move on to the gameplay, and we'll see how effective this build is. This game had some good fights, and I think one of the squads in this game knew me, judging by the way they were playing. So we'll see how it goes. We landed on construction site and we had a pretty rough start to the game because there were many teams with us here. I was wondering why that guy was so confident pushing me like that. Then I realized he has an echo. Of course. He got extremely lucky there because I ran out of ammo and then the rest of his team came to help him. So I had to retreat to get some ammo and shields. Help him return to the battle. Chip terminal is almost ready. Again here, pushing these guys would be dumb because they can easily come behind cover and melt me. And anyway, by the time I get there, they will be healed up. So instead, I want to get my teammates dog tag. The airdrop is coming. Enemy down.
I don't know why my teammate pushed so hard here. It was a full squad plus another squad behind us with snipers. It was just way too risky and I couldn't do anything to help him. I could have continued fighting here but I was worried of getting backstabbed by the squad on my back. I just didn't want to end up getting sandwiched so my best option here was to get a better position and plan my next attack from there. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you like the build. As I said, the MSMC isn't really the best for close range in my opinion. I would go for the Fennec or the Type 25 or obviously shotguns like the HS and the BY-15. But still, it can be fun to use and it can deal a lot of damage and you can win games with it when you get bored using the same gun. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.